So now we're going to purposely spin it. So all spin is is when you stall and you're uncoordinated. So if you look down here, if that ball goes one way or the other um, during a stall, that's how you'll spin it. It's very hard to do in a Cessna, though. In a Cessna, you almost have to do everything wrong. When a spin happens, what you have to do is use opposite rudder to the spin and recover. But we're going to let it happen. So here we go. There's one turn. There's two turns. We're fully in the spin. So right rudder to stop the spin. Power stays to idle for now. Now power back up. There you go. That was a spin in the recovery. Those are so much fun to do in the real plane. Kind of terrified, but fun. But you see how much altitude we just lost? We were at... Look at that. We were at 3,000 feet when I started that. We went all the way down to 1,800 feet. All right. And it should... There it goes. All right, we're in the spin. So there's one, two. Now watch this. If I add power, see how it just sped up? So no power. Release the back pressure. And the Cessna actually recovers itself, believe it or not. Now you just pull out of the dive before you break the plane. Get that nose back up. And bring... Oh, it thinks I wanted reverse thrust again. We'll do one full turn and we'll recover. And you'll notice that, actually, I'll show you something else. The Cessna is so stable that I'm purposely doing everything I shouldn't right now, right? I'm holding the wheel back. The second I let go, it'll recover from a spin. Pull the nose up, there's that stall warning. And there it goes. We're gonna hold it back for a couple turns. There's two turns, let go, let it recover, pull out of the dive, bring the power back in.